So when it comes to watch complications, other than running seconds or a date, the most commonly sought after is normally a chronograph. It's the original stopwatch, allowing us to time long events without having to continually look at our wrist. There's no doubt it's an incredibly useful complication, but when it comes to mechanical Swiss made chronographs, they tend to be expensive. Legendary examples such as the Amiga Speedmaster, Zenith El Primero, and Rolex Daytona are all upwards of £5,000, if not 10. So enter Hamilton, the legendary American Swiss watchmaker with a history of making affordable, reliable timepieces. This is the Intramatic H chronograph. Delightful vintage looks, a Swiss movement, and a wearable form factor, all for £2,000. Let's take a look. So the Hamilton Intramatic H is a manually wound twin register chronograph with a throwback vintage design, strongly influenced by their watches of the 1960s. With my calipers, the overall width comes in a fraction under 40 millimeters at 39.8. It has a look to look dimension of 48.8 millimeters and a look width of 20 millimeters. When it comes to thickness, I measure 14.6 millimeters from the dome of the sapphire to the flat case back. This is made up of 3.3 millimeters of visible crystal, a 2.3 millimeter slope bezel, a seven millimeter flat case side, and two millimeters of case back. This version has the optional steel Milanese bracelet and when combined with the watch itself has a total weight of 142 grams. The case, bezel and lugs are made from one piece of 316L stainless steel and are all of high polish. The overall design is angular with flat case sides and highly angled steep sided lugs. It feels incredibly solid giving the watch a great feel and presence on wrist. The Intramatic H comes with a domed box sapphire crystal. It sits proud of the case by roughly 2.3 millimeters providing some knock protection to the polished bezel. The crystal measures 36 millimeters across and features anti-reflective coating on the underside. This is a nice touch. It offers decent glare reduction and can't accidentally be scratched. The watch features a push-pull crown in polished stainless steel at three o'clock with deep knurled teeth and a raised vintage Hamilton logo. The crown has two working positions. In the first closed position, the crown is simply used to wind the manual movements. When pulled out one click, the movement hacks the balance, allowing time to be precisely set. At two and four o'clock, we have two chronograph pushes, again in polished steel. In standard fashion, the pusher at two starts and stops the chronograph while the pusher at four is used to reset. Although neither the crown or pushers are screwed down, the watch still offers an excellent 100 meters of water resistance, making it more than swimmable. This particular version features an off-white silver dial. It's completely flat and has a smooth semi-gloss finish. To me, the dial appears cream in pretty much all conditions, especially indoors, only appearing white or silver in bright outdoor environments. When it comes to markings, first off around the edge of the dial, we have a printed tachymeter scale and seconds track in black. At each five minute mark, we have applied polished steel indices and faux patina loom. The indices are well executed for the price. They reflect light well and provide a high-end feel. They give me brightly Nabatimer vibes, and that's no bad thing. Below 12, we have vintage style Hamilton logos, again printed in black. Above six, we have the word mechanical, and at the very bottom, we have the word Swiss made, again in black. Being a chronograph, we have two subdials in a horizontal dual register layout. Each subdial is countersunk below the main dial base and features a nice circular pattern engraving. Both are black in color. One point to note is that due to the anti-reflective coating, the subdials do look dark blue in most lights. Maybe not to the same extent as say the Boeing 747 Navitimer, but it's definitely worth noting. The subdial on the left shows running seconds with the one on the right taking care of minutes. Both feature white printed scales. It's also worth noting that because this is a dual register chronograph, it doesn't show elapsed hours or events over 30 minutes. Both the hour and minute hands are pencil style, made from stainless steel and are highly polished. Both also feature the same off-white faux patina loom as the indices. The loom in general is good, and in my short time with the watch appears to stay visible for a decent amount of time. The main chronograph hand comes in matte black with the subdial hands both being matte white. Overall hand and chronograph legibility are good, although it's probably slightly better on the black dial variant. The reverse side of the watch features a solid case back again in high polished stainless steel. At center, we have the same vintage style Hamilton logos as the dial. These are engraved into the case back, not printed. We also get engravings around the edge. These state the water resistance, model number, and Swiss made. Finally, the case back is screwed down and features recessed notches for removing it with a tool. So this particular watch comes with the optional steel Milanese bracelet, and there's not much more to say other than it's truly excellent. It only represents a slight increase in cost, but in my opinion, truly elevates the look of the watch. It's 20 millimeters wide at the lug end with a straight bar implementation, adding to the watch's vintage appeal. It's all of high polish and cut from a larger sheet of Milanese chainmail. The finish is excellent, with all edges finished to a smooth feel. Aeration and gapping is also great, providing a comfy fit and no pulling of hair. 
It comes in two sections, the first measuring 78 millimeters and the second coming in at 110. The longer piece is finished with a polished edging at its tip. It's also worth pointing out that due to the way the bracelet is constructed, there is no taper on either section. So it's 20 millimeters wide all the way down. Personally, I'm not a fan of non-tapering bracelets, although on this Milanese style, I really don't care. I think it's down to its vintage style and nature. When it comes to this watch, I would choose this bracelet every time. Finally, there are no markings or engravings on either side and no removable links. Sizing is done at the clasp, but fear not, there is almost an unlimited amount of adjustability. The clasp itself is a deployant style made from stainless steel and again, all of high polish. It has a double press twin trigger release, reducing any accidental openings and features a modern style Hamilton logo on the top side. It is a bit strange that the rest of the Hamilton branding on the dial and case portray the vintage style text, yet the clasp features modern. As I mentioned earlier, sizing of the bracelet is taken care of at the clasp. It reminds me of the ones Casio use on their metal bracelets, only it's been executed here to a much higher level of finish. Once the lock is open, you can slide the longer strap section through to obtain perfect fit. There are no ratchets or teeth, so you can literally size this bracelet to perfection. The only point of criticism is that you'll need some sort of tool to open the lock. So although adjustment is infinite, it's not a true on the fly system. Powering the Intramatic H is the Valju 7753 under the guise of the Hamilton H51. This is a tried and tested Swiss movement but has been modified specifically for this watch. Firstly, the winding rotor and associated automatic elements have been removed to create this manual wound version. The date complication has also been removed. A nice touch though is that the crown positions have been modified to compensate. There's no redundant ghost position when you pull the crown out. This is a nice touch and shows thought and consideration. The movement features a competitive 60 hour power reserve, pivots on 27 joules and has a beat rate of 28,800 vibrations per hour or four hertz. From testing the watch for about a week, accuracy is at about plus three seconds, which is excellent for the price of the watch. When it comes to wearability, the Intramatic H wears well, especially on the Milanese bracelet. Its looks are vintage inspired, slightly edging towards formal, making for a great smart casual option in my opinion. The 100 meters of water resistance and tried and tested movement make it a great everyday wear. Here you can see the watch on my 6.5 inch wrist next to a selection of other watches for comparison. On the left we have an Amiga Speedmaster Professional. It has a diameter of 42mm, a look to look of 48mm and a thickness of 13.5mm. On the right we have a Tudor Black Bay GMT. It has a diameter of 41mm, a look to look of 50mm and a thickness of 14.6mm. Against the Speedmaster, you can see how well the Hamilton wears against one of the all-time great chronographs, which is to say, well, the Hamilton is thicker and its flat sides make it show, but in every other dimension, it's comparable when it comes to fit. Against the Tudor, which has an identical thickness, you can see it also compares well, especially as it features a thicker chronograph movement. The Intramatic H is available in two configurations, this white silver dial or a black dial variant. On a leather strap, each comes in at 1,980 pounds, rising to 2,060, on the steel Milanese bracelet. Again, something I'd 100% opt for. Automatic versions of the Intramatic that also include a date function are available in three color options and start at 2,135 pounds. So one to five not so good things about the Hamilton Intramatic H. The faux patina. I get why Hamilton have done this. It is after all a vintage throwback. Personally, I prefer if the loom were white or not there at all, but I guess you can't have everything. The thickness. On paper, the dimension set is great. Even 14.6 millimeters thick is competitive considering its entry level price. But the somewhat slab sides and the all polish finish do nothing to hide its girth. You definitely notice this watch on your wrist. The dial color. Personally, the white dial looks better than the black, especially on the Milanese bracelet. But the color definitely comes across as cream in most lighting conditions. Can't put my finger on exactly why, but I'm not totally in love with the hue. The strap adjustment. Now I'm splitting hairs here as the range of strap adjustability is simply next level. I just wish you could operate the lock with your fingernail and not require a tool to do so. It's a scratch magnet. The box sapphire does offer some protection against scratching, but its blocky design and all polished finish won't be staying pristine for long, especially if you wear it as a daily. Just a note, polishing cloths will be required. Now for all that's good. The overall look. I'm a big fan of vintage style watches, and as a package, especially on the bracelets, the Intramatic H is an absolute beauty. One of the best looking watches for the money, if you ask me. The Milanese strap. I know I keep harping on about it, but it truly is sensational for the relatively minor premium it commands. The adjustability is phenomenal, the build quality is excellent, and the feel on wrist is sensational. It's an absolute no brainer if you're considering this watch. The overall build quality. Yes, maybe it's a touch thick, but it also makes it a tank of a watch. The fit and finish again for the price of first class, right down to the execution of the polished indices. The accuracy. The Intramatic H is not chronometer rated. However, during a week of testing, it's just plus three seconds off. Maybe every example won't be the same, but the plus three seconds on this one is amazing. The feel of operation. Being manually wound, you're gonna interact with the crown a lot. Luckily, the feel is excellent. 
There's no play in the stem assembly when it's pulled out, with a buttery smooth feel when winding. The pushers are also crisp and tactile. So what's the verdict on the Hamilton Intramatic H? Well, it's a bit of a tough one. If you're new to the world of watches and looking for an attainable Swiss-made chronograph with brand heritage and vintage looks, you'll go a long way to find a more compelling offer than this. Personally, I know I'll have a problem with the thickness, plus I already have a chronograph in my collection, so for me, I won't be making a purchase. As ever, this simply comes down to personal preference and takes nothing away from the package Hamilton are offering. It truly is sensational for the money. Feature-packed, wearable, and amazing vintage looks. What more do we want? This watch is 100% worthy of your consideration. Guys, thank you so much for watching. What are your thoughts on the Hamilton Intramatic H? Do you think it deserves consideration as the best entry-level Swiss-made chronograph? Would you buy one? If not, what would you consider for similar money? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you like this video, please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss the next review, and we'll catch you in the next video.